In this video, we'll learn how to view data and statistics for specific jobs, and how to run multiple jobs concurrently. Agents are assembled in the Agent Builder as a set of instructions that can be run against a specific website. After an agent is saved to your Mozenda account, that set of instructions can be run from anywhere. When the agent runs its set of instructions against a website, this is called an agent job. Agents can run multiple jobs at the same time, and the way jobs behave can be customized. Let's go to the agent dashboard, where an agent's jobs are managed. When the Run Now button is clicked, a single job is created for that agent. In the data table, you can see data collected by all of this agent's jobs. If Track Changes is enabled, you can filter the data being viewed by job. We'll talk more about this feature in a future video. To view the jobs that have been run by this agent, including statistics about each job, click on the Jobs tab. Here, a list of current and past jobs are shown, with basic information about each job, such as when it was created, which account user initiated it, when it finished, etc. To view more detailed information, a specific job must be selected. The Job Statistics panel is then populated with more specific information about that job, such as how many page credits were used, any errors that occurred, and how many records this job recorded. If you are running an agent that uses input parameters, you may find it useful to run multiple agent jobs in the same agent. To do this, select the New Job button and give the job a name and description. If no name or description are provided, the date and time will be used to create a job name. Second, enter a parameter name and value, and click Add. Repeat this until all agent parameters have been entered, and click Create Job. While parameters are not required to create a job, if the agent requires parameters to run properly, it will error if none are provided. We'll learn more about building an agent with parameters in a different video. Once the job is created, it can be resubmitted to create a duplicate job, or an additional job can be created manually. One or more past jobs can also be resubmitted at any time. Selecting multiple jobs will populate context options above the data table, where I can resume, cancel, or resubmit the selected jobs, depending on their current status. If one of the currently active jobs is paused or has experienced an error, select the job and Fix Agent will appear above the list of jobs. Clicking this will open the agent file in the Mozenda Agent Builder on the desktop and navigate the agent to the point in the website where the error occurred. This will not affect any other jobs that might currently be running. Finally, let's go back to the Data tab to customize the way the agent's jobs behave. I'll open the Tools menu and choose Settings. In the Settings tab, there are four options. The first is Delete old items after completing successfully. If the agent is running more than one job, this should be disabled. Otherwise, each job would delete all data from the agent's collection when it ran. The other options are Track Changes. This setting requires at least one field to be marked as unique in the agent's collection run anonymously, and do not create image or file packages. The Error Handling tab controls the way the agent's jobs react to missing data, web page changes, etc. The Advanced tab allows users to toggle more advanced processing settings. There are five options. Stop processing a list when a duplicate item is found in the agent collection, this requires the agent collection to have at least one field marked unique. Do not process multiple list items concurrently. Request web page images during processing. Maximize the browser windows during processing. And suppress dialogues during processing. Each of these functions can improve the agent in different ways, making it more stealthy and the web pages more stable. This concludes the training on managing agent jobs. To learn more, visit the Mozenda Help Center.